for tuning in for the review of the best products available today. These models were chosen from a large variety of products based on their overall performance and review of thousands of consumers that have purchased them through countless hours of research, side-by-side -side comparisons. It's believed that the following products are indeed the best on the market today. Please take a moment to follow the product links listed below to each product for more information. Sit back and relax while you watch the best highly recommended products for this year. What's up guys? Welcome to Eat Explore Hunt. My name is Jeff. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a full product review of the NWTF Grand Slam Alps Outdoors Turkey Hunting Vest. So I, I have a little bit of critique for it, but I also really enjoy this product. First, I'm going to start off by showing you the features that you get when you purchase this vest. So starting up front, on the right hand side, you can see there's multiple pouches and a pocket. So you can see the NWTF insignia. It's beautifully embroidered. It, it looks awesome actually. It looks really cool. But down below, you just have a spot here where you can actually store a box call. And this is kind of a, your average size box call. Larger size, longer, long box calls will not fit into this compartment. So I'm just running a I won't say the brand, but I'm just running a, a, a normal standard size box call. Then the pocket here that's embroidered. I still have some of my turkey hunting stuff in here, but here's one of my Al Hooter calls. But on the inside here, you might be able to tell. So on the inside here, there's a little enclosed case. I believe that's probably for you to put your cell phone and you can actually touch you know, use the touch screen through this without ever having to pull out your phone. I personally don't really use it. Uh, my phone stays in my vest pocket or in my pant pocket and it doesn't really come out much. But if you wanted to, you could store it there and it's a nice handy feature. But you also have a couple of loops on the inside of here. So right now, the only thing I use this pocket for right now is just my Al Hooter call. nice big pocket you can put multiple things in there so this top zip pocket if you're hunting on uh, public land and you need a place to put your car keys or maybe even your your hunting license I've got a hunting license from I'm guessing yeah so I have my Oklahoma hunting license and permits in here and then I also have my Kansas permits or my license in here still but I also keep my car keys in here if I'm out hunting. It's a nice zip pocket so you know that your stuff's not going to fall out. You can see right here there's an elastic strap there and there's also some other tension straps here but you have one of these on each side. You can see I have a bottle of water right there from this morning's hunt but you can carry two bottles of water or two bottles of whatever beverage you prefer. I drink water but so that's it for the outside of the right hand side, but on the inside, this is one of the coolest features of this vest in my opinion. It might seem silly, but you have a nice big mesh opening on the inside that also has a zip. And I don't know about other people, but I, I like to keep a journal whenever I'm out hunting. So my little hunting journal all through turkey season, it can be found right there in my vest. And I'll jot notes throughout my hunt and throughout my travels. So that's it for that side. Come over to the other side here. You can see we got three compartments and then one zip pocket. So this first large compartment, what I use this compartment for, and I'm not sure exactly what it, they're supposed to be used for, but I imagine it's for the uh, pot call strikers. So you actually have three spots in here for strikers. I only carry two strikers. 
but then there's also a mesh pocket on the front side and in there I just have a conditioning stone and then I have another locator call this one's just a crow call but there's so much space in here I also keep a little bit of sandpaper down in the bottom and then I always carry a light just in case you never know when you might need it and there's plenty of space in there you can put a little bit more stuff if you want to that's just what I carry so the zip pocket on this side is similar to the one on the right hand side uh, you just have a nice big open pocket but this one actually has a shotgun shell holder on the inside it looks like we can carry one two three four five shotgun shells plus you have a lot of open space in there that zips closed so here you can see we have the two pot call holders they're really nice they're they're the right size pot calls usually only come in one of two sizes about three inch or three and a half inch but I just carry my two different pot calls in there and then you can zip those up to keep them nice and secure from coming out one of the cool features on this side of the vest you actually have little mesh pockets on the outside so if you're like me you like to switch between multiple different calls um, diaphragm to pot calls to uh, box calls but my go-to call is always going to be a diaphragm I may not be the best at it but it's just it's really handy to have hands-free calling but I like to when I'm when I'm not using my mouth call I will just drop it right there in that mesh pocket and it's I can pull it out as I go and pop it in and hit some calls so same thing as on the other side water bottle pocket and then you have a, another large mesh pocket. So because I self film my hunts, I just carry two extra camera batteries and then my GoPro, I carry two extra GoPro batteries also. I just found out my GoPro has been malfunctioning so I don't have any footage on the GoPro unfortunately, but I do have it. So, so here you can see the, the butt pad nice nice size butt pad it's pretty thick about two and a half inches thick got a waterproof bottom so when you're ready to move and go it'll actually magnetize so you don't have to strap it down I generally will but then you have two straps so it doesn't move so moving on to the back here nice little safety feature so if you're hunting public land a lot of times people will just pull out their fluorescent orange flag and they'll leave that out as they're hunting me I, I leave it in there if I get a bird I, I will pull it out because I like to tote my birds inside of this back pouch so, and speaking of the back pouch there's a lot of room there's a lot of room inside of this back pouch I have them cinched down pretty tight but you can loosen these way up and you can store so much more inside of there but, so large AVNX decoy I always carry around a piece of camouflage burlap just to wrap around the tripod of the camera and then another thing I always carry a trash bag just in case uh, un unexpected rain shower comes up and I need to cover my camera in, a, in an emergency situation so And besides the, the pocket, which is full of dirt and dust because I've been on the road hunting for weeks, um, that's basically all there is to that. The last feature on the back side here is actually a pouch for a hydration bladder. And then you just have a, a Velcro hookup to hold it in place. I've used this a few times. For example, when I was in Oklahoma, it was, it was rather warm, especially for early April, warmer than what I'm used to at least. And I was carrying three liters of water plus two full water bottles every both days that I went out hunting. So I was carrying all that extra weight. But overall, it wasn't too bad because this vest sits on a really nice frame. So as you would have seen in the intro to this video, I showed a picture of the kickstand on this turkey hunting vest. 
So the great thing about the Alps Outdoors NWTF Grand Slam vest is the fact that you can literally sit anywhere with this vest. I can sit right here as is and hunt in the middle of, middle of the woods without having to be up against a tree. That's truly an advantage. I hunt in the plains, I hunt in the mountains, and I hunt here in the hardwoods of southern Indiana. Um, I need the versatility whenever I'm in the woods or out hunting in general. I need that versatility personally. You might not need that, but for me, having that kickstand, I, I don't always use it, but having it, it, it's very, very handy. But it's also kind of a hindrance. And this is my one fault with the, the vest itself, is the frame adds a lot of weight. Of course, you're adding a little bit of um, metal to a cloth vest, and you're gonna add some extra weight. The frame is super sturdy. It runs all the way up through the back of this vest. So it's very, very structurally sound. You can sit up against it and it's gonna last you, I would say, I would say a lifetime, depending on how you treat your stuff. I've had this, this is my second season now. I've killed 13 turkeys while wearing this vest in two years. It's been, it's been through a lot, but it looks brand new still. Um, Take care of your stuff and it'll last forever. So that'd be my that would be my one complaint about the vest itself is the the weight added by the frame. I do like the frame, but the weight is the only issue. So you have a frame to prop up and sit anywhere you want. One thing that's great about this vest inside the back here. There's a lot of extra padding, and it is, it's actually a very comfortable vest to sit on and you know, lean up against. You might not think you'd be too comfortable just propping down in the middle of, middle of a field or something, but it's actually quite comfortable because of the extra padding. The butt pad, it, it's good. Uh, it's not quite as firm as I would like. It has a little too much give, if that can be a thing, but for me, it's just a little too soft. If it was a little more firm, it might give you that extra padding. My legs will fall asleep regardless of what padded seat I sit on. But if it was a little more firm, it might take a little longer. But so there's actually one other thing about this vest that I almost failed to mention. It only comes in two camouflage patterns that I know of. Mossy Oak Obsession, the one I'm, I have and what I'm wearing right now. And I believe Mossy Oak Bottomland. Um, every time I've checked, the Bottomland has been sold out. But this Obsession camouflage that is on this vest looks so good. Obsession is my favorite turkey hunting camouflage made by Mossy Oak. It's, it's just a great camouflage. It has a great mixture of the greens. As you can, I mean, I'm an example of what it looks like. Um, you have a lot of nice greens, but then you also have great dark tones. As you can see this ground behind me, it's, it's fairly dark, but there's also a lot of green. That's what makes this camouflage so great. It just, in my opinion, it blends better than any other camouflage that I've personally worn. So I'm, I'm not paid or sponsored by anybody or any of these uh, products that I review, but that's just my own personal take on it. Favorite camouflage on a great product. So. Well, folks, if you enjoyed my product review of the NWTF Grand Slam turkey hunting vest made by Alps Outdoors, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and share with your friends. I really appreciate all the support. I have a new channel. It's something I've been working on for about two months now, and I enjoy doing it for you guys. But thank you so much for watching Eat, Explore, Hunt. Have a good one. Hi, I'm Kyle Bearfield with the Resistance TV, here to introduce the multi-weapon pack from Insights Hunting. This is one of the most advanced and versatile hunting packs to hit the hunting industry today. The multi-weapon pack from Insights Hunting comes in the most popular camo patterns, but this is our favorite, the version that's real tree extra. Today I'm going to go through some of the features of this backpack with you, but right now I'm going to start with our favorite, the actual weapon compartment on the pack. As you'll see, 
The actual weapon compartment is held together with four straps to secure your weapon in place. There's one on the bottom as well. You see the bow just fits in a sleeve here on the inside of the pack and there's a single strap that holds it in place. This weapon compartment is also great for holding ARs. An AR will also fit in this sleeve and it'll hold right in the middle secured by the weapon compartment. As you can see, the weapon is held close to your back and secured for easy transport. This pack is also built with two large zippered compartments. The largest of the zipper compartments has a single interior divider to help you organize your larger stuff. The smaller zipper compartment has compression molded panels on the outside to help protect your gear from the elements. Also has interior dividers to organize most of your smaller gear. This pack also has a molly webbing system as well as two straps that will help you secure extra clothing that you bring to the woods or a bedroll or anything that you're going to take with you on the hunt. The multi-weapon pack comes equipped with dual quiver holsters. There's one on each side. You can bring two quivers in the field, or if you're like us, we're normally toting in a camera tripod or even a rifle during hunting season. These quiver holsters are strong enough to hold a long gun in the place of a quiver. There's also a small zippered pocket in the top that I probably use more than anything for storing my keys and my wallet or even my release when I'm on my way to stand. The multi-weapon pack was engineered and designed with a superior backpack system. As you can see, there's a vent system running inside the padding that allows you to stay cool and dry during the long trips. I'll wear the pack and show you a little bit more of the features on the front. Insights actually designed this pack a little longer from top to bottom to help disperse the weight more. That way it's not such a big load across your back. It's got a chest strap to help secure it and a deep padded belt system. On the right side of the belt, you see there's a zippered pocket for securing your phone, or the small item in place. On the left side, there's a molly webbing system that allows you to attach a sidearm holster if you're taking a pistol to the stand. The Insights multi-weapon pack is one of the most advanced and versatile packs in the industry and may very well be the last pack you ever have to buy. Hi, my name is Justin Leesman with Alps Outdoors and today we're going to show you all the features of the Traverse EPS. The Traverse is the epitome of all hunting packs. Stay tuned to see why. Whether you're carrying your weapon, hauling away meat after a successful hunt, or just bringing along a lot of gear, the Traverse EPS hauls it all and hauls it comfortably. If you want to haul your compound bow or rifle, you can use the drop-down weapon pocket that is stored here. Then lash it in with the wing pockets that buckle together and securely hold the weapon in place. These wing pockets are great for keeping smaller items organized and handy. If you want to haul something other than a weapon, there are extension lashing straps included so you can haul even larger loads. If you want to haul meat or other gear, you can unzip this expandable mesh pocket to gain an additional 1200 cubic inches of space. Having this pocket close to your back allows the pack to carry comfortably since the weight is distributed closer to your body. There is also a unique H frame that is designed to support heavy loads. Combine this unique frame with a three layer waist belt and you're sure to have a comfortable carrying experience. The waist belt also offers a PE outer layer to give the pack some rigidity when carrying heavy loads. The shoulder straps are padded to maximize the comfort level. The shoulder straps have load lifters and the pack has an adjustable torso range so you can find the fitting that's perfect for you and your size. The pack accommodates torso ranges from 16 to 21 inches. The Traverse EPS has 3300 cubic inches of space without the expandable pocket we showed you earlier. There's a large main pocket and an internal pocket. There's also a large side pocket for your spotting scope. This pocket also has a tripod sleeve holder. On the other side is a mesh pocket for your water bottle. We showed you the wing pockets earlier, and then there's also two pockets on the waist belt to keep ammo and other small items quickly accessible. 
Another neat feature of this pack is the padding in the front of the pack to help protect your gear inside. Other features the Traverse EPS boasts include the hydration pocket and port for your bladder, a blaze orange rain cover that can be used if a rain shower pops up or for more orange in your attire, side compression straps to attach extra gear. As you can see from all the features we presented, the Traverse EPS really is top of the line. Its design has been well thought out by hunters in the Midwest and hunters out west to bring you the best design possible. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm Casey Kiefer from Rival Wild and Dropped, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some of the packs that Tenzing is putting out on the market. I really like Tenzing packs. I've been using them for the last couple of years, and there's so much thought and design by people who actually use these packs out in the field. They put that thought and design into the packs and into a product that is awesome on the market. The product I'm going to talk to you about today is actually the 2220 from Tenzing. This pack is the pack that I rely on for whitetail season. This, is, this pack has been designed for deer. I use this pack also on dropped, but where I really think it shines is in the whitetail woods. There's so many different features that make this pack a great whitetail pack. Start with some of them. For one, it's got aluminum stays, so it's able to support a decently heavy load, so you can fit extra clothes in there, a rain jacket, maybe your binoculars, maybe range finder, stuff like that. It's able to support that load because it's actually got the internal aluminum stays. Um, it's got 11 pockets within. It's got 11 fully integrated pockets from the hip pockets to the front pockets to even pockets within pockets. There's so many different pockets on this thing. Um, it really is just designed, like I said, for deer. There's a lot of good things about the pack. It's got, you know, the, the hip strap down here, the, the waist strap actually has the pockets on it. Um, you know, the padded back, the fact that it's got, um, you know, the fully padded back, but then it's also air cooled. This, the way they designed this actually allows air to flow between the pack and your back so that when you're walking to your stand, you're not gonna start sweating, you're not gonna get hot. Um, 
that's one of the things that leads to obviously odor in the field and we all know when it comes to whitetail hunting scent control is something that's really really important so these guys have put the thought into the design to keep that sweat off of you so that you don't smell when you're in the stand um, let's dive into a little bit about what i keep in the pack for whitetail season a lot of times what i like to do is i like to hang the pack on the back side of the tree um, to where it's facing me. I like to set my stand so that I've got a tree close by. I utilize the back side of that tree so that the pack's facing me. I've got enough stuff up in the tree with me and a stand and a cameraman with the camera and his stand. There's a lot of stuff up there already, so I like to try and keep my pack as concealed as possible. But when I put it on the back side of the tree, I'll have this front pocket right here exposed. This front pocket will be at my disposal. I keep these zippers just unzipped slightly, just like this, so that anything I may need is just a reach away. I can reach down and grab it quickly, easily, and quietly. And we all know that's important when you're in a whitetail stand. So some of the things that I keep in here, normally I'll keep an extra pack of broadheads. Um, I use Rage, so I keep this Rage cage, uh, this broadhead case in here. I'll have extra broadheads in there in case I need them in the field or field points. Um, I keep a Windicator. I always keep that handy. That way I know what's going on with the wind 24 seven. A lot of times I stash an extra, extra release in there, um, just in case, you never really know what's gonna happen. You drop a release, you lose a release, misplace it, you never know. So I always keep an extra release with me when I'm in the field. Um, a grunt call, I keep a grunt call in there with me all of the time. Uh, this happens to be the Bone Collector series from, uh, from Flexstone. It's got the grunt call and the snort wheeze tube on it. Um, that's one of the things that I keep in there quite a bit. And then uh, I'll keep some sort of doe bleat. And I keep these, again, I keep them all right there and handy so that they're at my disposal quickly and quietly. So that's a lot of what I keep in the front side of this pack. Um, a lot of times strapped to the outside of the pack, what I'll actually have is my rattling antlers. So um, I keep the rattling antlers strapped right to the outside. That way they're cinched down when I'm walking in. It's quick and quiet when I walk in. And then when I get up into the stand, I'll actually untie them uh, from this loop up here. I'll untie them and I'll be able to hang them on a little bow hook or something like that in the tree itself so that they're, they're at the ready whenever I need them. In the big main compartment, um, extra clothing. I'll usually take an extra thermal. I'll take an extra thermal shirt. I'll carry that with me. And then, uh, you know, an extra mid layer, depending on what time of season it is. So I'll take an extra mid layer sweatshirt and then, uh, you know, in this one in particular, I've got another extra layer of thermals and I actually have a pair of rainproof pants because a lot of times I'm hunting in fleece pants. So I have a pair of rainproof pants. As you can see, that's pretty much an entire outfit stashed down inside of this pack. That's how much room there is inside of this thing. So what I'll do is I'll actually drop a bladder inside of this internal pocket right here, use the internal bladder for the internal pocket, and then I'll just run the hose right up through the hydration port right here. And what that's gonna do is keep me hydrated when I'm on the go. Uh, another great feature to this pack is the bottom. Let's look at the bottom of the pack for a second. Down here on the bottom, we've got two compression straps right here that are gonna be for attaching uh, you know, extra gear. Maybe you take your jacket off on the way to the stand. You can simply unclip these right here, quick and easy, unclip those, roll the jacket up, slide the jacket in there, clip it back on. That way you're not stuck maybe trying to dig it out of the pack during your hunt or while you're sitting on stand. You simply unclip those, bam, your jacket's ready to rock and roll. Another thing, down here on the bottom, we've got a bow and rifle pocket. This, uh, this right here, you set your cam in it or you set the butt of your rifle in it. You run the rifle or the bow up along the pack, utilize your compression straps up here where I keep the antlers. You can utilize those compression straps a lot of times to keep the bow cinched or the rifle cinched right down to the pack. And then one of the best features of this pack is an integrated rain cover, which is right here. So on the very bottom, you unzip this pocket and you pull this out and you've got a completely integrated cover that's gonna keep your pack dry and keep your stuff out of the rain. This is critical when you're on stand. This is gonna keep a lot of your stuff dry. So, uh, and again, you see that thing rolls right up and stuffs into that pocket just like, like it's nothing. So the guys at Tenzing have done an amazing job and they're putting a lot of thought into their designs. And uh, the Tenzing 2220 is a perfect example of that. And again, for me, this pack right here is definitely designed for deer.